she could cry, they could be in her Death was sad for her, but an order is an order She was a prisoner there in the light She stood, but she knew they couldn't break her And by the shore, the bombs were falling with the snow Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to create this green cut crease. And the first thing I went in with is shadow shields. I just feel like it makes it way more easier to blend all the eyeshadows. And then I'm going in with the shade Short Thing by Makeup Geek. And I will use this shade as my transition. It's a very, very light green shade. And it's perfect to apply first in the crease whenever you go in with all kinds of green eyeshadows. It will just make everything blend out better. And yes, I'm just going back and forth in my crease. Then I'm going in with the Morphe 35B eye palette. I will link it down in the description bar. One of my favorite eye palettes. I have used it so many times on my YouTube channel. I just feel like this is one of the best eye palettes because it's very cheap and it has a lot of bright matte shade, which I absolutely adore. So I went in with the grass green shade and I blended this in my crease. Now I'm going in with the black shade from the same palette. And I'm going to use the black eyeshadow shade to create my crease line. So I went in with a very tiny brush and I'm just going to create my crease line. This is Hiding in the bungalow, she felt so young. The night she was much younger than the other. Feeling like a prisoner, there in the light. She stood, she knew they could. Now I'm going in with the dark green matte shade from the palette and I'm going to blend this right on top of the line that I created and also slightly above it and I'm just going to blend my brush back and forth along the line until I felt like it was very blended out. And at this moment it's definitely going to look very harsh but don't worry because we are going to make sure that everything will look blended out at the end. Now I'm going back in with the black shade. And I'm going to blend this the same way as I also blended in the green shade. And I'm just going straight on top of the line. And I just continue to go back in with the matte dark green shade and the black shade. Just until I feel like it's all blended out. And um, you can just go back in with the black until you are satisfied with how it looks. So when I'm done with applying the black eyeshadow, I'm going back in with the dark green shade. And I'm going to blend this straight above the black. Just kind of in between the light green shade that you can see in my transition, in my crease. And in between the black shade. So it gets a better transition since the black is very harsh at the moment. Green shade from the 35V eye palette. And I'm just going to blend this in my crease going back and forth. And I'm using my Morphe M506 brush. So it still looks very harsh at this moment, so after blending this in my crease, I'm going once again back in with the dark green shade from the palette. Um, I did have a very hard time doing this eye look with blending out all these shades because I used a lot of that black eyeshadow. But just go back in with the dark green, the black and the light green until you feel satisfied. So now I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I use it in the shade NC15. And I'm going to use this all over my eyelids and I'm going to use this to carve out my crease Which means that I'm going straight underneath the cut crease line that I created To make it just look very sharp and it will clean up all the mistakes that I have made So now I'm going to use the matte white eyeshadow shade And since I have applied concealer on the eyelid, I feel like sometimes when I wait too long with applying shades on top of it It kind of starts creasing so just a tip is that when you apply the concealer, just go straight in with the eyeshadow to make sure that it's locked in place. Now I'm going to apply the Makeup Geek Limelight eyeshadow, which is a gorgeous, shimmery, very bright green shade. And I'm going to apply this on the eyelid. And I'm also slightly blending this on top of the white eyeshadow to make those eyeshadows melt into each other. And for this, I'm using my favorite MAC 242 brush. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Epic Eyeshadow and this is also going on the eyelids and I'm going to try to blend this also slightly on top of the bright green shade to melt, make it melt into each other. But as you can see on my right eye is that it looks very harsh. So when I apply the green shade I'm going back in with the bright green shade to make it more melt into each other. And I'm still using that MAC 242 brush. 
And now I'm going to change it up to the dark green shade from the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I'm going to blend this in the outer V and slightly towards my crease. When I'm done with blending that dark green shade in the outer V, I decided to go back in with the matte black shade. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to blend this in my outer V. I feel like this looks way better and it makes it more smoky and dark. And since I have also used black for a decrease line, I feel like it sort of connects the eyelid with my crease and it just has a very pretty smoky outer end. So now I'm going to remove the shadow shield and I'm trying to press against my skin so it doesn't hurt too bad because these shadow shields are very intense. So now it's time for eyeliner and I'm going to use the John to Blue Smudge Proof Long Lasting Liquid Liner. It's my current favorite liquid liner because it has a very precise tip so it's very easy to work with and to create a very thin line above the lash line but also to create the perfect wing because when I create a wing sometimes when I want the outer end of my wing to be very thin like it has a sort of flick and when the tip of my eyeliner is too thick it will it doesn't really work but with this one you can't really go wrong so this is a very nice one and I would definitely recommend this liquid liner so now I'm going in with concealer and I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, the same concealer that I also used to create that cut crease. And now I'm going to use this to make my wing look very sharp and clean. I do this every time whenever I create a cat wing, it will just make it look even more sharp and just very fleeky. <laughs> so now for the waterline I'm going to use the L'Oreal Black Inveilable Pencil. And it's not like this is the best black eye pencil that I've ever used for a new waterline, but I got it new in the mail, so I just wanted to try it out. And yes, it works pretty fine, but not like my favorite or anything. So when I'm done with that, I'm going in with the matte black shade again from the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I'm going to apply this straight underneath my lower lash line. And whenever I do this, I also go slightly on top of my waterline to really connect the eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line with the pencil so you don't have any skin showing through. But if you wear contacts, be careful because the eyeshadow can get in your eyes. So now I'm going to use that grass green eyeshadow shade from the same palette and I'm going to press this underneath the black. And when I'm done with pressing that pigment, I'm going back and forth to blend it out. So first I press to really get that eyeshadow shade to be packed on underneath the eye so it really shows up and then I'm going to smudge it out. So now off camera I applied some mascara and I used the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara and for my lashes I used lashes from my own lash company Any Cute and this is the style Wary. I will put a link down in the description bar this is one of my favorite styles. And yes this is also the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did enjoy and don't forget to subscribe if you want to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. And yes, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!